Great. Okay. Hey, what's up, Chad? Uh, we're back, and uh, it's Wilson here again um, from um, Lino, and um, now we have Nin from um, from Ontology Network, and um, could you give us a little bit um, uh, uh, introduction to to your project and um, yourself as well? Hi everyone, uh, this is Nin uh, from Ontology. Ontology is a public chain project. Uh, we are trying to set up high performance uh, infrastructure of uh, blockchain. And we are, have a full stack of uh, cross chain sharding solution as well as layer two. So in this case, uh, we, are, we are trying to migrate the traditional web apps into blockchain. So this is our main goal. So um, first of all, um, there are a lot of public chain out there on the market. Mm -hmm. um, what are the key differences, or, or, or are you guys like more consumer facing, or I think it's more enterprise facing? If, if, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so what's your what's your value proposition in the market in a such a competitive market? What's your value prop? Uh, so actually, uh, when we are talking about blockchain, it is mainly like we can say for public chain, it's mostly like the cloud service. So everyone just pay for the gas fee to rent. Uh, some kind of resources from blockchain to uh, provide decentralized trust or something like that. But actually, uh, this brings a question, what is the real business to running on the cloud service kind of blockchain? So we are trying to have uh, a little bit step over to provide a methodology, try to use a decentralized identity and uh, uh, data tokenization and Assetization in order to uh, provide solutions for traditional web apps or mobile apps to uh, migrate to its on chain technology. Okay, so um, then how, how, how do you view it as your major competitor? Um, for blockchain, I think uh, everyone, every blockchain project, they are competitors. Because uh, uh, not not with us though. Uh, we're very specific in the in the. In no, the actually, uh, for blockchain, I mean the infrastructure level, because it is just a platform, and when there is cryptocurrency, there's coin. Everyone is compete with each other to uh, get end users for real money, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, whenever you have do have the real business running on your chain, so the way you are trying to resolve is your business competitors instead of the cloud service competitors. So these are different. So for, um, but but anyway, for now, uh, there's, uh, I think, 10, uh, 50 million uh, cryptocurrency holders, right? I'm not sure, for the blockchain users, mm -hmm. we can say. But for uh, 0.7 billion users using internet, so uh, actually for now we are for the web app to use blockchain technology, which is uh, quite blue ocean. There's not that many competitors with each other. Yeah. Yep. Um, quick question here. What's the relationship between like um, 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 ontology and, and, and Neo network? Um, I think for now, uh, most blockchain we are trying to figure out the real business, so everyone can be partners from each other. And uh, in fact, we do have a new VM from the very beginning to uh, provide the financial kind of uh, quick uh, light smart contract. And for now, we also have Wasm VM uh, to support uh, somehow uh, heavy business uh, support kind of this. And uh, what, what would be uh what is the most um, successful um, business use case right now that is built on top of the um, ontology blockchain? Um, actually, uh, we provide the cross-chain technology, so we, and also we have decentralized identity systems. So uh, any uh, blockchain project, they just want to use identity uh, framework, for example, KYC, AML using in the DeFi or something like that. 
we can provide uh, Yeah, and, and uh, who, who, who is the biggest customer that you have right now? Or clients or, or whoever that is using the uh, ontology blockchain? Um, using ontology blockchain technology, there mm -hmm. is uh, quite some uh, enterprise partners that are, yeah, which is you, not launched on the minute. Could you share like uh, one or two um, of, of the top ones with, uh, with the crowd here? Uh, for the, I think most of our uh, partners are from Southeast Asia, like mm -hmm. uh, Thailand, Malaysia, or something. But I'm not sure the the about the name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. No <laughs> that's problem. Okay. Yeah. So could you uh, elaborate a little bit more about the identity uh, service that you provide? How you um, uh, how you uh, how you are able to achieve uh, 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 KYC information um, to on chain information? How is that uh, possible? How, how are you converting offline information to on-chain information and how do you make sure all those information are trustworthy and transparent? Uh, okay, uh, this can turn into uh, three different parts. Mm -hmm. The first one is uh, when we are talking about the identity, uh, it is about the credentials or qualification of the precisely what kind of uh, information the, the so-called claim buyer they just want. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in our framework, that which is called the trust anchor, so it is depends on the real business, the applications, the uh, KYC can be turned into the real name, real age, the nationality, or uh, even uh, the trust anchor skills. means um, a, a third-party oracle, which provides the offline information, the KYC information. Uh, just kind of KYC information, but trust anchor is. Uh, uh, just follow the standard uh, credential claim protocols we just provide, and uh, anyone else can be trust anchor. For example, your your friends can be your trust anchor, and your classmates can be your trust anchor. How how does the blockchain uh, know this is my friend, and my friend it's a real identity instead of me creating multiple accounts and claiming relationships? On the blockchain, uh, actually, it is multi-dimension because uh, there's already some called uh, CA, the credential agents. They just provide uh, standard who you are, KYC, right? And whenever uh, they provide a combination of uh, traditional CA claims or credentials, along with their endorsement, this can turn into uh, your new claim. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Basically. Uh, um, you guys are trying to uh, get a um, offline traditional authority information to bootstrap the network to start with uh, 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 with a, 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 a small pool of trustworthy data and then expand from there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. Great. And the second one is uh, when we, for all the uh, we have our so-called anti-ID system, which is a decentralized identity. So the identity system can be bind uh, directly with the claims. So stands for the qualification and the credentials. While all the data can turn to be digital asset, can be uh, combined yeah. directly with your so-called wallet or address. Yep. And uh, there's a combination with uh, ontidy and your address wallet. So in this case, uh, whenever you need to provide claim, there's a technology called anon anonymous credential. And then for the real use, you can use uh, asset transferations, token transfer exchange kind of this. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, Webster, um, thank you for providing that. Yes, please do help us to moderate the chat and um, collect more questions um, um, if, 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 if anyone has any uh, questions um, so that we can address it right now. Um, and next question we have, so how does uh, ontology uh, compare to other like enterprise-focused blockchains? Uh, so based on the, it is still back to the uh, ontology stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, the identity system is not stands for the end users, but also stands for the smart devices, or maybe even the data. So for each data can be off-chain, even offline. So we can say it is they are data or resources. 
whenever we provide a, a solution to map with off-channel, offline resources to on-chain. In this case, we use a traditional uh, computer science called token, tokenization, which stands for a certain kind of right to do operating on data or information, like the ownership, the accessibility, or maybe uh, the privilege to do data processing or data management, something, some kind of this. And in this case, we can have uh, turned the data token into the blockchain token, which is uh, the assertization of the real data. And with the blockchain, we can have data token with token transferring and exchange and uh, make the full trace of the data flow, the data proce processing and data management. Sure. Uh -huh. And um, this is actually a good question. Like, uh, where have you seen the most adoption for Antonio Q right now? And um, uh, what sector look most promising for you? Um, actually, uh, for ontology, we are trying to uh, provide a solution for all the real business stuff. Yeah, but but where 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 you have seen uh, the most adoption? Which area? Like uh, you, you just mentioned a little bit about uh, South Asia. Uh, is that the most popular? Um, uh, area that, for, for uh, it right just now. turns into two parts. The first one is uh, already to be proved, just like DeFi. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, just like supply chains. No, area-wise, like uh, geographic-wise, uh, uh, which which market are you looking at? Uh, the US? hospital, the hospitality, the... the, the no, no, US, uh, China, or, or, or European market, or, or like uh, Southeast Asia market, um, which, which area uh, have you seen more uh, adoption right now? Uh, and, and then what kind of business? Uh, I think uh, for for China, mostly there is uh, for the healthcare. Yeah. Or? And uh, for the South Asia or Southeast Asia, they are mainly focusing on the DeFi. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we- Could you explain a little bit more about like how are you um, helping the healthcare industry um, in China? Uh, actually, uh, as I mentioned before, we have data token, and uh, the data can be like uh, also the first thing is on ID can stand for the smart devices as well as the data. So in this case, uh, all uh, we can say we provide a kind of solution like called data interoperability between or maybe cross systems, and the system is not only for blockchain system, but also traditional IT system mm -hmm. or even IoT systems. And in this case, all the data can be traced and uh, uh, the ownership and accessibility can be also be traced. So in this case, we provide a full uh, supply chain solution to manage for the healthcare from the, maybe uh, the hospital or the surgery, something like that. Okay. Yeah, from end to end. Okay, that's great. And. Uh, um how, when, when did you start it uh, to, to uh, get the adoption from the uh, healthcare industry in China? And what's the plan moving forward um, in, 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 in the Chinese market? Because like recently, we, we talked about this yesterday uh, with the chat, um, like Chinese market is getting hyped because of the government, um, um, you know, uh, President Xi just, just announced a big news to support the overall like blockchain industry. So what's your plan? in the Chinese market moving forward? Um, okay, the first thing is, uh, whenever we are talking about uh, data interoperability uh, cross systems, so uh, in this case, most use, they are working on the supply chain is uh, to form kind of so-called consortium chain. So each one need to uh, uh, take their own business, they take part in the node to, to uh, set up the network. But with the sharding uh, technology, we can mm -hmm. easy to set up consortium shard. So, so consulting? Or? Consortium, which oh, is uh, okay. public chain, consortium chain, private chain, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So um, you guys are doing sharding as well? Yeah, we have our full end-to-end -end solution from cross-chain to sharding, layer two, something like that. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I, think, I think that's uh, about time. Thank you for being here with us today.